Hello everyone. Today we are moving on to the next letter in our bubble alphabet series. The letter P. I'll show you how to crochet the letter B step by step. If you are not familiar with the basic stitches we'll be using, don't worry, I've explained all the necessary stitches in our introductory video. So feel free to check that out first if you need a refresher. Now let's get started on our crochet letter B. Grab your hook and yarn and let's dive in. We will start with a slip knot. And then as the foundation we need to chain 26. 1, 2, 3. Like that we will continue until we get a foundation of 26 chains. Now I have completed 26 chains over here. We will start with row 1. There we need to skip the first chain from the hook and work a single crochet into the second chain here. Again work another single crochet into the next chain, another single crochet into the chain after that. Like that we will continue working single crochets all the way long until the end of the foundation chain here. By the end you will have 25 single crochets. So continue to work 25 single crochets. This is the end of the row 1. I'm going to make the very last single crochet over here into this stitch. This is what it looks like. We will chain one and turn the work to start with the second row. Starting from here, we will work another row of 25 single crochets on the second row. This is the end of the second row. This is what it looks like. And then chain one and turn the work to start with the third row. In the third row also we are going to work 25 single crochets starting from here. Now we have completed that row as well. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with the 4th row. Just repeat the same pattern. Work 25 single crochets starting from here to complete the 4th row as well. I have completed the fourth row also. Chain one and turn your work to start with the fifth row. There we need to start the letter from that row. First of all we need to make seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After completing seven single crochets, we are going to work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. Now we have five loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. This is the bobble stitch. And then work one single crochet into the next stitch. 
and again work a bobble stitch into the next stitch here Then again work a single crochet into the next stitch and work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. Again work a single crochet into the stitch after that and again a bobble stitch into the next stitch. Again a single crochet into the next stitch and a bobble stitch into the stitch after that. Now we have completed 5 bobbles over here and then we need to work 9 single crochets until the end of the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. With that, we have completed the row, and then chain one and turn your work. To start with the sixth row after the bubble row we need to work a row of single crochets so starting from here work 25 single crochets to complete the row now I'm at the end of the sixth row this is what it looks like and then chain one and turn your work now we will start with the row seven there we need to work seven single crochets first and then work a bobble stitch into the next stitch then again work nine single crochets And a bobble stitch into the next stitch and then work seven single crochets until the end of the row with that we have completed row seven as well chain one and turn your work to start with the eighth row there we need to work a row of 25 single crochets Now I'm at the end of the row and then chain one and turn your work to start with row number nine. Start row nine by working seven single crochets first. And then work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that work 9 single crochets and then a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And then work 7 single crochets until the end of the row.
This is the end of the row 9. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with the 10th row. It is going to be a row of 25 single crochets. Now I am at the end of the row 10. We have 25 single crochets on this row as well. And then chain 1 and turn your work to start with the row 11. There we need to start by working 7 single crochets. And then work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that work 9 single crochets. And then again work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And again work 7 single crochets until the end of the row. With that we have completed the 11th row as well. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 12. Row 12 is also going to be a row of 25 single crochets. Now I am at the end of the row 12. This is what we have completed so far. And then chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 13. Before the bubble we need to crochet 7 single crochets here. And then work a bubble stitch. And then a single crochet into the next stitch and again a bobble stitch. Again a single crochet and a bobble stitch. Again a single crochet and a bobble stitch. And a single crochet and a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that we will work 9 single crochets until the end of the row. And then chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 14. There we need to work a row of 25 single crochets. Now I am at the end of the row 14. This is what we have completed. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 15. There we need to start by working 7 single crochets first. And then a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And 9 single crochets after that. And again a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that work 7 single crochets until the end of the row. Now I am at the end of row 15. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 16. Here 
work 25 single crochets until the end of the row. Now I'm at the end of row 16. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 17. We will start with 7 single crochets first. And then work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that work 9 single crochets. And then again a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And 7 single crochets until the end of the row. This is the end of row 17. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 18. There we need to work a row of 25 single crochets. This is the end of the row 18 and then chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 19. Start row 19 by working 7 single crochets. And then a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And again 9 single crochets in the middle. And a bobble stitch into the next stitch. After that work 7 single crochets until the end of the row. Now I'm at the end of row 19. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 20. There we need to work a row of 25 single crochets starting from here. Now I'm at the end of row 20. This is what it looks like. And then chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 21. Start row 21 by working 7 single crochets first. And then work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. And then a single crochet and a bobble stitch. Again a single crochet and a bobble stitch. Again a single crochet and a bobble stitch. Again a single crochet and a bobble stitch. After that work 9 single crochets until the end of the row. This is the end of row 21. And then chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 22. There we need to work a row of 25 single crochets again. Chain 1 and turn your work to start with row 22. 
chain 1 and turn your work and we will start with row 23 row 23 is also going to be a row of 25 single crochets Then again chain 1 and turn your work and we will start with row 24. Just repeat the same pattern and work 25 single crochets on row 24. This is the end of row 24. Again chain 1 and turn your work to start with the last row that is row 25. There we need to work a row of 25 single crochets here as well. This is the end of row 25 and then chain 1, leave a little tail and you can cut the yarn off. And there you have it, our crochet letter B is all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy to follow. Remember, if you are new to any of the stitches we used today, you can always go back to our introductory video for a detailed explanation. Stay tuned for more letters as we continue to create the entire bubble alphabet together. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, share it with your fellow crochets and subscribe for more fun tutorials. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting!